PIX 5 News at 7 starts now with a big pharma company cashing in on a treatment for HIV. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba shows us how that happened. Andrea? Well, Ken, Elizabeth, we are talking about big pharma versus government all over a patent, and caught in the middle is the consumer. This pill is at the center of a tug of war between the Centers for Disease Control and Gilead Sciences. The drug is Truvada for PrEP, which is an antiretroviral designed to prevent HIV infection. PrEP is an absolutely essential uh, tool in our effort to end new HIV infections. When someone is taking PrEP, it reduces their risk of HIV infection by 99%. The government patented the drug in 2015. Gilead made three billion off it last year alone, but the U.S. hasn't seen any money from the matter. We the people, it turns out, own technology that can end AIDS. And the question is, what are we going to do with that? In a statement to KPIX5, Gilead said, We believe the patents granted to the Department of Health and Human Services for Truvada for PrEP are not valid. Peter Maberduke is the Access to Medicines Director for Public Citizen. We tend to ask the companies to please commercialize these products and then insist on very few conditions leading to the situation we have today where we're being price gouged and people are not getting access to the treatment that they need. The list price for PrEP is $1,600 to $2,000 a month. That cost is as low as $6 in other countries. State Senator Scott Weiner takes PrEP and says this fight once again sheds light on the stranglehold drug companies have on prices. The continued barriers to accessing PrEP, including the cost, are very frustrating to me as, as someone who spent a lot of my life um, fighting HIV and trying to end new infections. Uh, I want everyone who needs PrEP uh, to have access to it. The fight between the CDC and Gilead over PrEP is ongoing. We would like to see the government step up, exercise its rights, and ask for some quid pro quo uh, for the people, uh, potentially to fund a national treatment program that can give everyone access uh, to, this, to this care. Now, despite the ongoing fight between Gilead and the CDC and the Department of Health and Human Services, they do continue to collaborate on other projects. Live in San Francisco, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5. All right, Andrea, thank you for that.